And then right now we've been reliving the consolidation right now within 2022 into 2023. And you can see this is backdated here. So we've kind of been filling this in for right now. You can see where it expects to see the halving. It's just a straight upwards trend to about, and this is, you know, conservative. A 4X in crypto is very conservative considering the post was 90, 30, seven, four. I think XRP as well as Bitcoin and honestly the rest of cryptocurrency will have its year this year as well as into 2025 as you guys know or hopefully you do but cryptocurrency as well as the stock market is cyclical and I will show you proof of that in a little bit but historically they happen in four-year intervals here where every fourth year we start to see a bull run and the last one that we had took place back in 2021 and you know 2020 2021 and that's right now 2024 into 2025 and if you're not watching this video or you aren't paying attention to the markets you will miss out on something that really doesn't come too often and this year will turn some ordinary people into millionaires yet again and i'm excited to go over this with you guys and i would like to explain everything with you guys as to why i believe that i've been in cryptocurrency for many many years now back in 2016 late 2016 is when i entered and i've seen some pretty crazy stuff historically consistent in 2017, 2021, and we're going to see it again in 2024, 2025. So definitely stay tuned. But with all of that being said, we're going to be also going over XRP technical indicators in the short term, Solana, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. So with all that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump right into today's episode. So yesterday we made a video basically in reference to seeing an ascending broadening wedge happening on XRP, as well as some difficult indicators to look at on most of the major cryptocurrencies as markets were starting to shift downwards. Now, this is something we've been tracking for a couple of days now, as markets have been pretty much flatlined out uh, for the past couple of hours, if not going into the past couple of days, you can see here drawn on the thumbnail here, just flatline within the market. And this is usually in reference to big volume coming. And we saw that with, uh, with volume leaving the market and causing cryptocurrencies to correct itself, but I don't think it's going to last. This was a very small drop that pretty much sent what little volume or little movement we had into an oversold market. XRP is now oversold. Solana was nearing oversold, and you can see we had a quick rebound off that, heading right back up to uh, top resistance here. So we'll also have to go over this. For those that would like to trade on Solana, I will update you guys in a minute. I'm just starting to see things as we make these videos. Now, that's not going to be it. And we'll also have to look at Ethereum, which is also rebounding off its beautiful moving average here. We'll look at Bitcoin rebounding off support, as well as the S&P 500, which is continuing to head higher. I'm very excited to go over all this stuff with you. But more importantly, this is what we need to go over. And we're going to compare the how XRP correlates almost identical to Bitcoin here and why this is important and why not only is it important to look at XRP, but to also focus on Bitcoin as that's pretty much the leading indicator that, you know, the general mainstream uses as a reference to seeing markets head higher. Now you can see here, this article came out August 24th of 2023, and we've talked about this back then in August as well as September. You can see here, Bitcoin having can take play, uh, can take Bitcoin price to 150,000 by July of 2025. And that is on par with my prediction as well. And you can see here, Bitcoin is due to hit nearly 150,000 during its next four year halving cycle. As you guys know, Bitcoin halves every four years. And historically, we tend to see the markets reverse out of it almost immediately, which is pretty nuts. Now, as you can see, having data reinforces November 2022 Bitcoin price bottom here. Everything lines up very well, especially when I start to show you guys these charts. And I'll just show you really briefly what this is in reference to. We're going to dissect this chart in a second. I just want to keep you guys interested and intrigued with this video because it's quite interesting when we start to, you know, dissect the data here. But going back into things here, Bitcoin price performance depends heavily on its halving cycles. And with the next due within the coming 12 months, the firm is betting that historical trends will continue. Bitcoin, it notes, tends to put in cycles 
cycle bottoms and top roughly equal lengths from of time from each block subsidy having, which cuts the number of Bitcoin paid by miners per block by 50%. And you can see here, um, Bitcoin has historically bottomed 477 days prior to the halving, climbed leading into it, and then exploded to the upside afterward. The post-halving rallies have averaged about 480 days from the halving to the peak of the next bull cycle. The peak of the next bull cycle. That means we'd be on the on-ramp afterwards for about a year and a half. So if the halving comes in April of 2024, 360 days later would be you know, April of 2025 and a couple months after mid to average or mid to end of 2025, which is very exciting. The same theory suggests that the 2022 bear market bottom marked the current Bitcoin price cycle bottom, which I also agree is true. And that's what we're starting to see. Bitcoin, as you guys can see, if we start to zoom out, scale out, has actually bottomed back down in or, or late 2022 at around $16,000 or over or over to $39,000 and peaked at almost $50,000 thousand dollars this year which is quite exciting but as we scale and move forward the next halving is expecting to occur on april 20th of 2024 since most bitcoins are now in circulation each halving will be almost exactly half as big as a uh, big a reduction in new supply if history were to repeat itself the next halving would see bitcoin rising uh to 35k before the halving and 148k after well guess what we're already right near that price point right now this video came out many 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 months ago here and with bitcoin currently at 39,000 receding back down to this we could easily float around between 35 to forty thousand dollars we'd be pretty much right at that point because when the when the when the article came out, it was August of 2023 here. And you can see June, July, August of 2023, the price was at 25,000. And you can see how accurate we've managed to correct to the upside here, which is showing how accurate this is becoming. You can see back then uh, we had in 2012, the reduction of new supply became 25 Bitcoin per block. Total reduction over 480 days was 1.7 outstanding Bitcoin uh, reduction in supply, so on and so forth. That's not what I want to look at here. Is what I wanted to look at. Bitcoin bulls can expect a 4.2x gain. Pantera is far from alone in predicting six-figure Bitcoin price highs beyond next year. Among the optimistic forecasts include those based on Bitcoin's so-called lowest price forward metric, which this month showed Bitcoin passing the 100,000 mark by 2026. And I'm 100% firm on that. Others also believe 100,000 is possible, but not before next year's halving. I also agree with that entirely here. As I zoom in, you can see for reference where we started from, where the halving is. Each halving is in white and it's going dia or horizontal, diagonal here. Excuse me here. You can see the rally it had before and the rally that it has afterwards here. About 5.7x swung up to about $10. Then we broke out on the halving and you can see the rally it took afterwards here. Pre-halving, halving, and post-halving. And to come into reference here, we have the 2016-2017 halving. So I, I joined cryptocurrency and started following cryptocurrency right around late 2016. So right around the first halving that I was introduced to was right at 2016, mid 2016 here, where we had a 3.4x rally from the price of 100 to almost like eight or seven or eight hundred dollars here and then post having we rallied all the way up to almost ten thousand, if not a little bit higher than ten thousand. I think it was almost Ah, I think it was $20,000. I remember exactly when it happened. I was in uh, my English class in college here. And then you can see 2018, 2019, 2020. Historically, what we see happen here is we have a very long, solid bullish breakout. The peak is 450 days afterwards here. So a year and a half of bull market, followed by bear market, which lasts about a year, consolidation for another year and a half. And then we have another year and a half of bull market. And that's statistically what has happened. So this is the first one we can see his, historically. The second one that I was in was back in 2021, 2022. You can see the halving happened mid 2020 and then we had the having or the rally took afterwards took place of all 2021 into 2022 and then right now we've been reliving the consolidation right now within 2022 into 2023 and you can see this is backdated here so we've kind of been filling this in for right now you can see where it expects to see the having right at 35,000 the current price of bitcoin is at 39,000 for the beginning of 2023 uh, or 2024 so we're right around that same having time we have february march april we have three 
three months. And the fact that the Bitcoin price is at 39,000 means if we're right around 40K, if we drop down 5K, we'd be right on par with the prediction here. The best part is following the halving is just a straight upwards trend to about, and this is, you know, conservative. A 4X in crypto is very conservative considering the post was 90, 30, seven, four, you can see the having, we're typically scaling it back about three X, three times we're scaling it back. Seven, 14, 21, or eight, 16, 24, three, six, nine, four, eight. Eh, it's about accurate. It's about average here, but you can see the uptrend that's anticipated and expected with this. And historically it's been proven on the two previous havings that I've lived through here and made quite a lot of profit on. So the fact that you have this knowledge so much earlier than everyone else, is huge. It is a huge window and a huge opportunity for bull run to take place. So you have to keep your eyes peeled on the markets here because we're going to see some pretty spectacular runs coming in the very near future. Now, how does this tie into XRP? For those followers that are on XRP, well, this is the Bitcoin halving price. And if I go to the current coin market cap, which for those that are watching today is down about quite a bit, Bitcoin's down six, Ethereum's down 12, Solana's down 15, XRP's down nine. But if we take XRP for reference right now here and we pull up the charts, you can see if I want to pull up the trading view chart for reference, this is the XRP chart here. We have it pulled up for the day. We're going to jump to about one month intervals here and you can see what this price looks like right now. Now, what I want to do is overlay this with Bitcoin, Bitcoin to USD. And you can see if we take this, and we overlay it on how similar the price is in reference to here. So this is month by month. And you can see when we have these halvings, the peak in the markets here were at 2014. I'd say the beginning of 2014 here, uh, t beginning of 2014, 2018, 2022. And you can see in reference that every time we see a high in Bitcoin, we have a high in XRP. We have a high in Bitcoin right around 2021. So that this was, where was 2014? I don't even think we had XRP on here in 2014, but 2021, we had a high, a peak, and you can see XRP did the same thing. We also had a high right here. So did XRP. And now we're coming up to the next halving, which will take place mid-2024 in three months from now, following a year to about maybe... April, May, June of 2025 for the following year, we should be in a bull cycle, which is very exciting for those that are following it. So you can see there's an exact reference. So not only can you take advantage of a Bitcoin play, but also consider the other cryptocurrencies like XRP, which should also be following mainstream with Bitcoin when we start to see a swing to the upside. Now, as for short-term market movements and what we have to look at in the short term here, you can see a lot of these cryptocurrencies are following suit. We are undervalued across the board. And I know you guys are going to hate me for tweaking the charts yet again here, but just I'm looking at everything. We're looking at things on the weekly and you can see how if we scale this lower here, it doesn't actually show that we've broken out of anything just yet. A small tweak up, uh, upwards here shows that we're still in a descending fractal here on XRP's weekly charts here. We're still in a lower high, lower low formation here, filling in the gap to the upside. So when we look at things on the weekly charts, you'll actually notice we haven't broken down yet. We're still in this lower high, lower low movement here, which is a good sign. You can see we can probably even tweak the way this... Um, chart looks here if we pull this here and we maybe pull this up and we pull this down you can see we're almost in reference still with this descending fractal five point elliott wave formation here and i am still bullish on a lot of these cryptos statistically historically uh i believe january is a bearish month if we look at bitcoin performance monthly you can see i believe it's about 50 50 on in January here. So for reference here, it's about 50, 50, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. This is since 2021, 11. And out of the, the 11 here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six at 11. So about 50, 50 is, uh, you know, bearish. It's hit or miss for consolidation. February, three out of the 11 months is bullish here, or sorry, uh, seven, no, eight out of the 11 months is bullish in reference to seeing prices swing higher here. So statistically, February is going to be very nice in regards to recovery for here and then April as well. So as we start to scale higher, things should be quite interesting as we near the halving because 
March is typically a bearish month for crypto as well here. So it's going to be interesting. We are still consolidating. We are still inside. You can see the bullish flag here with a small tweak of the charts here. We are still in some sort of lower high, lower low formation here. And I do believe we're going to be bottoming off very soon as prices are already referencing a bottom. And then we should hopefully be able to pick up a reversal into February here. I mean, Solana also proves that with the way this four hour chart looks, we can jump to the daily chart to get a better reference here, but we don't look bad. We've actually been scaling the top resistance for quite some time now. Yes, we did break through the golden yellow uptrend here. You can see if I scale back the uptrend that Solana has been making here, but we are still in a descending fractal, which is textbook bullish here. And like I said, once we can confirm a breakout above this price ceiling up top, I would expect to see a very solid recovery to the upside. Even though we're pressing through this, it's just building up steam and building up pressure and building up more room for a rally to the upside. So once we can confirm a closure above this resistance in yellow, that's when we can buy in and long. And you can also see a lot of these other cryptocurrencies are retesting moving average. You know, XRP, Ethereum is, Bitcoin is also retesting moving average here and probably referencing a bottom so i'd likely expect to see runs to the upside and lastly to look at the s p which has just historically hit its all-time high for the markets i believe we dave ramsey made a video referencing that when the stock market hits an all-time high in a year it's typically it typically references about a 15 percent gain for the fall for the rest of the year which is pretty nuts so that means if you're missing out on the stock market now's your opportunity to take advantage and get back into it but with all that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace